Marcus Didius Severus Julianus Augustus, who was born on January 30, 133 AD or February 2, 137 AD in Mediolanum, modern-day Milan, and died on June 1, 193 AD in Rome, briefly served as the Roman Emperor for three months from March 28 to June 2, 193 AD. He attained the throne by outbidding other contenders, as the Praetorian Guard assassinated his predecessor, Pertinax. This event ignited the Roman Civil War of 193 to 197 AD, and Julianus was subsequently ousted and executed by his successor, Septimius Severus. Didius Julianus was the son of Quintus Petronius Didius Severus and Emilia Clara. His father hailed from a prominent family in Mediolanum, while his mother was a Roman descendant from Africa and was born into a consular family. Didius Julianus had two brothers, Didius Proculus and Didius Nummius Albinus. His birthdate is recorded as either January 30, 133 AD according to Dio Cassius or February 2, 137 AD according to the Historia Augusta. Raised in the household of Marcus Aurelius' mother, Domitia Lucilla, Didius Julianus received early support from her and was appointed to the Vigintivirate, the first step in his promising career in public service. He married Manlia Scantilla in 153 AD, and they had a daughter, Didia Clara. Didius Julianus held various political offices, including Quester, Edel, and Praetor in 162 AD. He was even considered for the leadership of Legio XXII Primogenia stationed in Mogontiacum, present-day Mines. Later, he served as the Prefectus of Gallia Belgica for five years from 170 AD and as a result of his successful defence against the Germanic tribe, Chao Ken, he was appointed consul in 175 AD, alongside Pertinax. He continued to distinguish himself during his campaigns against the Chatti and his governance of Dalmatia and Germania Inferior. He was also charged with the task of distributing funds to Italy's poor as prefect. However, he faced accusations of conspiring against Emperor Commodus, but he was ultimately acquitted and saw his accuser punished. In addition, he ruled over Pontus at Bithynia and was appointed as the proconsul of Africa after Pertinax's reign. Following Pertinax's murder, the Praetorian Guard, driven by greed, put the throne up for sale to the highest bidder. Didius Julianus outbid everyone else, offering a whopping 25,000 sestati per soldier, and was subsequently declared emperor by the Senate under duress from the military. As a result, his wife and daughter were both granted the title of Augusta. This shameful situation stirred up widespread disgust throughout the Roman Empire, leading governors in three different provinces to answer the cries of the outraged Roman people and rise up against the tyrannical Praetorian Guard. One of these governors, Septimius Severus, wasted no time in travelling to Rome to depose Digius Julianus and have him executed. Severus also ousted the entire Praetorian Guard though only the group of soldiers responsible for Pertinax's death were put to death, while the rest were spared. Thanks for watching this video, if you like the video please subscribe to our channel.